Everybody has the capabilities of making art and being creative, and it's just a, a choice. The way that art has formed culture and the, the power that it has to convey energy and emotion and meaning, it's pretty off the hook. Ad hoc art challenges the boundaries of fine art by taking more risks. The Manhattan art scene has its own sort of bent and, and vibe, and I think a lot of people today tend to feel that that's sort of stale. In Brooklyn, there's a lot more room for experimentation. When we started, we were showing a lot of printmaking, drawing, street art, and lately we've sort of expanded that to also include uh, more like pop art or new pop, uh, surrealism, other work that's often not shown in the contemporary art scene uh, in New York City. I think we were the first gallery uh, to show uh, the artist Gaia, uh, Unplay, uh, a duo of Russian artists, Eminent Disaster, whose work I've always enjoyed. Swoon um, has shown work here. Ron English had a piece here. We had a Keith Haring work in the gallery for a month, which was fantastic. Uh, we also do classes and workshops here in the space where we offer people an opportunity to come in and learn the basics of silk screening. So the people are able to come in, study printmaking, get the basics down, and then go home and do it themselves. We really want this to not only be a place where we make our own work and show artwork by other people, but where we can also help people uh, be creative in their own sense. We do a lot of things working with people that have been active in the, the New York event scene for a long time, really trying to bring together and create a more robust creative adventure, kind of like bringing a circus fun type atmosphere to a party. I'm just basically trying to rekindle that spark in people that kind of makes you feel like you're alive and doing something really fun. The scene is sort of like a nice incestuous thing where all these collectives tend to get together to put events on with this sort of free-spirited um, mentality generally, like sort of like reclaim the streets or the idea that New York should have more fun than it does a lot of the time. This neighborhood uh, alone is, is a really amazing nexus as far as uh, musicians, visual artists, writers, you name it. I mean, there's a, a lot of creativity. We were the first gallery out here a few years ago, and now there's, I think, anywhere between six and 16. We really look at this as kind of a, a laboratory and a place to experiment and create a more uh, egalitarian uh, culture and existence.